Tackling childhood obesity is a tough task, but even First Lady Michelle Obama is getting involved to help shed light on the issue and also solutions. She's launched a Let's Move campaign to help kids make healthier choices. And now a local family is starting a grassroots effort to educate families about how to get healthy. SNN Local News 6 reporter Mia McCormick joins us now with more on their effort. Mia. The organization is called SCON, or Stop Child Obesity Now. It's the latest effort by Jim and Louise McKenzie of Sarasota. So easy and so parents, we have no excuse not to make these at home. Jim and Louise McKenzie are passionate about health. Yeah, why is whole wheat so important? Do we know? Because it hasn't been tampered with. That's right. The couple has six children from six months to 13 years old. They lost their fortune when the stock and housing markets crashed, but knew they had to keep up their health. On a budget of $26 a day, the McKinsey's worked with their children to develop healthy habits. Just to show you that we can have something that's tasty, um, and it's not all about deprivation, is we're going to use some sugar. But this sugar is, guess what, my kids? What is it? It's brown. They cook together, making time in the kitchen, also time to learn. And each day they exercise as a family. Many parents say they just don't have the time in their busy schedules. That's exactly why the McKinsey started Stop Child Obesity Now, Inc or SCON for short. Yeah. A family of four, family of three, so yeah. we don't have the time. Oh, oh. That's like no excuses. It's one of the reasons yeah. we actually wanted to do it. Yeah. Because, um, in fact, you're missing out on so much because if you can spend half an hour watching Oprah in the afternoon, you can spend half an hour in the kitchen. With That's the all it takes, isn't it? Half an hour. You know, it's an adjustment. Yeah. The McKinsey's are working with local boys and girls clubs and wise across the county, teaching kids about healthy foods like vegetables and fruits, and also what to stay away from, like high fructose corn syrup. As a busy family of six, they've gained a new appreciation for sticking together and staying fit, and their hope is to take that message nationwide. To learn more about SCON, you can visit their Facebook page or log on to sixkidsandfit.com. This couple has received recognition from, recognition from the National Healthy Weight Commitment Foundation in Washington, D.C., and has been interviewed by Parenting Magazine. Lauren? Pretty impressive. Well, Mia, where do we stand here in, in in this area in terms of uh, compared to the rest of the nation? Well, I can tell you some state numbers. In 2008 to 2009, the statewide average uh, for sixth graders in Florida, about 20% of them were obese. Here in Sarasota County in that same year, it was 21%. So you can see we're just a little bit higher than the state average right now. All right. Thanks, Mia. Sure thing.